Hello, hello. Thank you for stepping in. Thank you for coming forward. Make sure you like, subscribe, you know. What's up? Okay. Today we're going to be answering some Instagram questions. I'm so excited because I haven't done these in a while. Look at that daffodil. I look like a daffodil, isn't it? You can see that. <laughs> I'm cute. I'm going. <laughs> I love my man, but we argue way too much. The fighting and the making up is now a cycle to dead. This reminds me of someone I used to date, and I used to argue all the time. And the funnier thing is, he never used to live in the, in my country, so I used to travel, fight him there, and then come back home and fight him there. But you have to ask yourself something: Why are you fighting? What stage are you? Are you the beginning stage? Beginning stage is supposed to be romantic, romancing, you know, loving, doing too much. You know, you're supposed to be inside the shower, in the, you know, in the in, in the hot tubs. You're supposed to be hugging and kissing every five seconds. You know, the love is supposed to be oozing. There's big alerts when things are terrible in the beginning. Blasting them. Like, I've only been chatting to you for a month. Who am I? Why am why I arguing with you? What's the argument for? Hmm? The girl is wearing pants and bra. Uncle, what are you like it there? What do you need to like there? What's happening there that you need to like it? On naked, naked on the beach. What are you liking there, uncle? Please let me know. Because I don't know what there is to like. So you like the pants and bra, or you like the bum, or you like the breast? Which one? I mean, some people say like it pictures is just like it pictures, but me, I'm very observant. Knowing the source of someone's income <laughs> is very important because I know some people they can't just you know, it's the, by my man's money blah blah blah. There'll be one day, one day. They will just collect all of you together and go to prison. But you have to understand, you know, where your man's cash dollar is coming from because, you know, and end up like Teresa from Housewives. They come and pack you. You say, you're, I'm signing my husband's letter. That's how you sign it. I end up in the bin. Can't, um, I mean, there's nothing further I can say on that, you know. Sometimes exes are just exes for a reason. Let them do it's not a problem, you know. I mean you people can care about each other. You know, you can care. But you know, sometimes when people are exes and you've tried everything, tried everything, you've you've done everything and it's not working, sometimes it's because you need something fresh. It's like having it's like opening a fresh tango. You know? Check something else was popping. It's not always going backwards, backwards. Sometimes exes are actually the exes are even bringing you backwards in life. You know, drop it and find another Krispy Kreme. Can you still entertain a guy who is still talking to other people? He wants to be friends. I'm busy too. Like these type of questions, I don't have time for them. I don't think you should wait for someone to come into your life because in my experience you have to be selective if you don't be selective what happens is that there will be the same type of man that will keep walking into your life you know you just say oh yeah he walked in that's how you just bring in strays idiots and strays up and down you know you don't have time for that you have your shit together you have your good job making sense, you have your money coming in, your finances. You can do the selecting. You have to be able to pick that amazing man that's going to be an amazing husband, an amazing father, caring, kind. Those are the big two things, caring and kind. Mm. Kind and caring. If men, a man does not have care and kindness for you, he can do anything. He's not a kind person. You will go through your own suffering in your house and he'll be looking at you. She says she's sick. What's wrong with you? Hmm? 
and we've got the ambulance and people don't deep those two things they just be oh yes that's that he has to have money <laughs> That's all on everybody's agenda. You know, it's just one of them things. You need to look for a caring and kind man. People don't want to think about caring and kind when you come, when you're at home now and then you tell me, cook my breakfast. <laughs> this type of enemies, this type of devil needs to be thrown in the bin. Have you ever left a man for his friend? I have never ever done this. It's weird. Is it okay for your man to be angry if you're going out with your girlfriends and ask you, um, what's the insecurity about men that have problems with you going out or even girls as well that have problems with their man going out what's the problem let them go <laughs> man tells me he wants to go out okay there's the door enjoy yourself come back at a reasonable time when you get to the front door sorry the lock is different okay <laughs> The worst type of disrespect is when you really try to be with someone and you're really trying it. You're not attracted to him. You don't find him sexy. The money. Maybe I have small money that's ginger in you. But he's ugly, sha. And you have the audacity to now start cheating on me. You have the audacity to be cheating and going up and down and doing madness up and down. And I just think to me to myself, how dare you, ugly? You hear me? Different stories, different stories, different stories of cheating and ugly. <laughs> Dated one, like not too ugly, not too fine, possessive in a way, possessive, argumentative, da -da -da, challenging guy. Like I said, you know, there's school students that are just challenging. I said, fuck off. Who do you think you are? You're ugly. I knew that's the thing. <laughs> it comes out in argument. How you truly, really feel. How long should you one way after ending a relationship to get back into a new one? Think that there needs to be a gap in between whether you're single and you enjoy being single. Being single is fun. It's positive. You know, you get to see people. You get to do everything. You don't have to answer to anybody. I actually found what I, what it was that I wanted to be. Do you start making those are decisions, goals and stuff like that for yourself as a single person. But when you've been in a relationship, especially a rubbish one, a toxic ass relationship, you have started to pick up different type of bad habits, yeah? Different type of bad spirits that you've been collecting in that relationship. The way you talk to each other, the way you respond, the way you text back, the way you approach situations is not positive like for me it wasn't positive like i would just talk to any guy anyhow talking to people so many just just giving them <laughs> like you have yourself to protect always in a new relationship with someone there's nothing to protect why are you protecting yourself from him should be love you you care about you what are you holding yourself back for so i had to then like open myself up and love again a very beautiful feeling i love it i love my babes within that for me What is the best advice I would give my younger 21 self? Girl, first of all, if I... <sighs> the only thing I would say to myself is that your life is about to be lit. You're going to have so much fun. You're going to be an amazing mom. You have a beautiful son, a beautiful man, a beautiful life, a beautiful family. Like, you're healthy, you know? In a way, looking back on it, I'm grateful for all of those little mistakes. Everything I showed and told you guys over the years and everything. Like, I'm happy that each one of those things happened. Because everything, everything, girl, everything has led me to this very point. I could not think of a better place for me to be in. I'm, in, I'm just in so much happiness. Joy, peace, you know, disbelief. Sometimes I look at my son and I'm just like, You're my son. <laughs> You're my son, you know? Allow yourself to see the freshness that can come into your life. It's not every day to go and cry. Oh, he didn't come back. Oh, he didn't propose to me. Oh, he didn't marry me. Oh, he didn't. Listen, 
wear your single cloth back on and you step out and you let them know that you know what's up because I'm sexy and you know that's when they start flocking back like the buffoons 